Another dynamic analysis option that's available to you is Address Sanitizer, or ASAN. ASAN and the kernel version, KSAN, are things that modify the compilation significantly in order to try to detect things like buffer overflows, use after freeze, and some other vulnerability classes. Now, ASAN is compile time additions to the code to add a bunch of extra sanity checks but it also includes modifications via library to make the tracking of dynamically allocated memory a lot more fine-grained so that it can detect if there's any sort of vulnerabilities in the handling of the heap memory. In addition to significant compile time modifications of the code, ASAN also includes memory allocation library changes so that it can detect any, at a very fine grain any sort of corruption of the data uh, adjacent to memory allocations made by malloc. So any sort of heap overflow would be caught as well. Now, unfortunately, ASAN has significant performance penalty, code size penalty, and memory size penalty. So ASAN is not meant to be run in production code, but instead is meant to be run inside of a testing or QA type environment. So assuming that you actually do tests on your code before you ship them out the door, ASAN should be enabled as part of the testing or QA environment. Now, ASAN actually works extremely well with fuzzers because ASAN is only as good as the coverage tests that are available to it. So again, if you want to find this kind of thing dynamically, you have to provide inputs to the code in order to see if there's anything going wrong. And assuming that your normal QA or test coverage doesn't actually have completely programmatically randomized inputs, well, just turning on ASAN by itself probably is not going to catch the sort of uh, significant bugs that would be caused by attacker-controlled input. If, on the other hand, instead of using your typical QA test suite, you use something like a coverage-guided fuzzer, well then, you know, basically the fuzzer is helping force the code down a bunch of different paths, and then ASAN is keeping a close eye on any sort of corruption that can occur, and then it provides you nice detailed information about, you know, back traces of how you got to that particular control flow. Unfortunately, ASAN doesn't play nice with another mitigation and detection technique that we learned about in Fortify Source. So, you know, the, the fact says currently you can't use both at the same time, so unfortunately you have to turn off Fortify Source in order to use ASAN. So in general, you know, the, the monocle emoji says, run Fortify Source in production, run ASAN in the debug or QA test environment.